What's up guys and gals, Mirror Mask here, doing a video today on a PC game this time, not not on the shield, um, called Mordheim City of the Damned. Um, now, this game is a game that I've been kind of following on Steam for a little while there, and I decided to finally just jump in and go ahead and pick up the early access. I streamed it some last night, and um, I had a blast with it. It seems like it's a very in-depth and very fun game to play, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, read off a little short description of the game for you guys um, so, you, so you understand fully what this game is. Alright, Mordheim City of the Dam is the first video adapta adaptation of Game Workshop's cult classic table game Mordheim. Set in the Warhammer World's decimated Empire City, Mordheim City of the Dam is a turn-based tactical game where you lead war bands and blah, 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 blah. Basically, all you need to know is it is a turn-based 3D third-person view um, strategy game that takes place in the World Hammer universe. So if you're a huge fan of Warhammer Online, like I was, or any of the Warhammer games or the tabletops, or maybe you've even played the tabletop of Mordheim, this game is definitely worth checking out. It's not super expensive. It's around like the $30 price range right now to get into the early access. And I'm sure there's a ton of features that aren't in the game just yet. But let's go ahead and jump into the game here. And um, I'll just kind of run through maybe one of the tutorials and uh, kind of show you guys a little bit about what you do in, in the game. So we'll go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Let's see, scenario tactics. Yeah, this is a good long one here. So, we'll play this one. Now, you're going to see a lot of the characters that you've seen in the Warhammer universe uh, in the past. Like, you've got the Sisters of Sigmar in here. Um, a lot of the the creatures and stuff that you fight, like the script looking creatures, they're, they're all in here. This game does take, and I hope they optimize it, it does take a little long to load. It's a little lengthy on the loading screen. I'm not quite sure why, but it just is. Even when I moved it to SSD drive, it still took forever to load. Maybe that's an optimization thing. They can get that fixed. But um, I like these little scenario tactic screens, or scenario tactic screens, <laughs> these training tutorial screens, because they kind of tell you like what the load screen will tell you what it is you're going to learn in this particular tutorial. Um, I played through all the tutorials last night for a few hours on my live stream, twitch.tv forward slash mirror mask live. You guys can check me out there. I, I stream usually between the hours of... 9 a.m. and 3 a.m. Eastern. Um, sometimes I, I stream in the evening. Um, sometimes maybe a few hours late at night. Um, I'm, I'm running late today on the live stream because I wanted to get this video made. And I've got another video. Wow, this loading screen is taking forever. Seriously? Did it freeze? Uh-oh. It stopped moving. Am I still recording? Oh, there it goes. Okay. Whew. Oh, I had the audio turned down. Dang. Now, I, it was probably making the noise, but I couldn't hear it because I, I turned the audio down for my stream last night. Hmm. Music audio, anyway. You guys will still be able to hear the sound effects. But, let's go ahead and jump into the game. During regular missions, to achieve victory, you must make the enemy warband root. Route. Right? Retreat from the battlefield. This will end the mission and give you access to the remaining word stones in the area along with some of the spoils of war. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can also complete specific objectives. You guys can totally read this, and I'm probably doing this video in 720p. I just realized that, but oh well, moving forward. So, here we are. All right, so moral gauge. Uh, I don't see a moral gauge on the screen. Is that what it's talking about up there at the top? Your turn? 
Hmm. Not quite sure. Okay, it's my turn. I'm going to go ahead. As you can see, it's third person. You can't exactly run around freely. You you have your uh, little strategy points at the bottom. The blue points you see up under my camera right here. Those tell you how many spaces you can move and how many strategy points. You'll get the gist of it as you'll see. We'll go through. So this attack right here will take two action points, right? I've got three action points. So if I use this ability, it'll actually leave me only one action point left. So what I could do is swap weapons. And now that one only costs one action point. Now I can hit him three times. Twenty-two. Come on, crit, 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 crit. No, thirteen. I'm gonna go and die. Oh, wait, hold on. Back out. Let's see what stance is. Party stance. Switch weapons in turn. We'll go to parry. Swap to parry stance. So you want to sneak up on me, eh? And punch me in the face, eh? Well, I parried it. Alright. Um, I'm not quite sure if this is one of my special mobs. I don't think it is. I think, well, th I know this one is. But I think this guy right here is just a regular guy. But uh, each team will get a special mob which does like massive damage and is really hard to kill. And then the rest of the people in your, in your little warband team will be just like regular characters. Alright, this guy, I'm just going to go ahead and punch him in the face. Literally. Oh, and he smacked me back with a staff. Alright, let's see. Now, if we delay, we can basically... And you scroll through these with the Q and E. I'm not sure if you... I'm, I guess you guys can see that. You scroll through the, the things that you can do for your turn. And you can also hit spacebar and kind of... um. Wait. There we go. Why is it? Oh, I was hitting two. I was hitting two. <laughs> I got to hit W. So we scroll up and you can kind of see the different uh, things that you'll be able to do during the fight. Now, I still have not figured out how to open the inventory. And it may be something that's not actually working in the game yet. Anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and delay this. And when you delay it, you basically delay the inevitable like if you know he's gonna kill you and you want to just stay in the fight for more morale purposes um you can keep delaying 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 all alone test when a warrior ends up engaged two or more enemies we need to perform all alone tests based on leadership this test will define if it stays fight against the odds okay all right bam look at my big guy go punch him in the face Alright, neutral mobs. Okay, the map does have these neutral mobs, and sometimes they will just randomly attack you, and you get, you're you forced to kind of fight them. Sometimes they won't even do anything. And sometimes, I guess you could kind of maybe lure them to attack the other team. Confirm counterattack. Bam, in the face. Oh, I missed him. That's a cool sword. I want that. Alright, effects duration. Alright, let's see. Uh, okay, let's go down. Please pass the jump. Oh, I failed him. I didn't even put my feet out in front of me. How redonkulous is that? Alright, I gotta get to my peoples. Sorry guys, I can't get there just yet. Alright, can I boon them? No, I can't boon them. Can I do anything else? I'll go into ambush stance, just in case. Ambush stance, basically, uh, what's the other stance for the range guy? Uh, I'll tell you in a second, I think, I think maybe I'll swap to him. All right, let's see. Wait, my guy's outnumbered over here, isn't he? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. 
It's all right. We'll go and engage him. Some fell in my eye. Fear and terror. Okay, this is like when a big old mob um, engages you. You get these little things that go like this. You're like, oh my god, I'm gonna crap myself. This is, this is a huge mob. I don't want to fight it. That's fear and terror. You'll see. It'll show you. See, like this guy. Watch, watch my little head. I'll be like, holy she. Fear and terror. I'm not afraid of him. Though. Confirm counterattack. Let's do this. Oh. Okay, that's slightly hurt. Here he comes. Here he comes. Island prayers. Um, I'm not quite sure. I haven't actually used one of these yet. Hmm. Maybe I need to attempt to try that. All right. What else do we got here? Dodge stance. In turn. Let's just attack. Fifty-two percent chance to hit, and I'm failing twice. Oh man, I missed all three times. Are you serious? Oh man, let's see. Dodge stance. Let's, let's enter dodge stance. I don't want to spend too much more time on this, guys. I'm just trying to show you the different, um, some of the different class style things that you can use. All right, let's see. See, if I disengage, I'll be able to move. Yeah, let's disengage. And get out of here. Entering ambush stance. The game doesn't actually say that. I don't know. I just feel like it should say entering ambush stance now. Please fasten your seat belts. Yeah. Alright guys, we'll go ahead and wrap this video up. Um, like I said, there's not too much to show you in the options just yet. There's not too much to show you as far as like, I, I, I can't even get my inventory to open. But the game play itself feels pretty solid. Um, I'm very impressed with it. I do like the whole you know warhammer worlds look i've always loved it if you guys have followed my channel you know that warhammer online i had to make a special video because that oh it broke my heart when that game closed down i loved it game so as soon as i saw this you know I, I jumped on it i jumped on it so um yep that's it i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up i recommend the game um for early access yeah i mean for for what it is just a turn-based game as far as I can tell right now, 30 bucks does seem a little on the pricey side. Um, maybe it should have been around maybe 20 bucks for the early access. I don't know. But I think, you know, it, it has a good solid company behind it, Game Workshop. So I think it's worth it, in my opinion. I think it's worth the 30 bucks, especially if you're into the whole Warhammer uh, world and everything. I think it's worth it. So I give it two thumbs up so far. I may change my opinion later if if they update it with some updates in the early access and break it, break things that I like so far. I don't know. We'll see. I may make a follow up review on this. But in the meantime, make sure to check out Twitch.tv forward slash Mirror Mask Live. Um, this is one of the games that I do live stream, or will be looking to get into live streaming. Um, also picked up Hardland. I'm gonna actually make a video of that very shortly. I may hurry up and make that it's kind of a first look because i have not actually ever played that game just yet i literally just picked it up this morning so um anyway i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up how do i get out of here alt tab uh so you guys make sure to uh, rate comment subscribe uh follow the channel subscribe to youtube uh follow me on twitch and uh, follow me on twitter so you guys get updated on uh when i go live so you guys take care and i'll uh, see you in the next video or on the stream Peace.